I'm Deacon Frederick Bartels. Today is Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. It marks the 36th day of Lent in our Living Lent series. Let's begin with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 8, verses 31 through 36. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. When people quote Jesus' words in today's gospel, they often leave out the important part of what he said. We often hear the truth will make you free, but do not often hear the first part of what Jesus said. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. If we remain in Jesus' word, we will be his disciples, then we will know the truth, and be set free by it. In other words, being set free entails not only hearing the truth, but believing and keeping it, believing and keeping Jesus' word. When we are united to Christ and live in imitation of him, we are freed from the chains of sin which bind us in slavery. Join me in praying. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, I love you. Impart in me the grace that I need to fall deeply in love with your word, with your life, and with the truth, that I may live in imitation of you as one of your disciples. And then, knowing the truth and in union with you, I will be set free from the slavery and bondage of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, meditate on the way sin enslaves you to sin. The one who sins and continues to do so makes sin his master. What's the solution? Christ. Through faith in Christ and with his grace, we are set free by hearing his words of truth and keeping them. It is the Lord himself who frees us. Yet we must also do our part. We must do everything in our power to keep Christ's word and live the truth. May Christ bless you and your family this Lenten season.